Chris Olave is one of the best wide receivers in the 2022 NFL Draft, and he's been productive for quite a bit, and he has been considered one of the top wide receivers in college football for quite some time now, last few years. And when you watch him on tape, you can tell he's got some ball skills, he's got some good route running, and he can do some things after the catch. I pulled some clips from his performance against Minnesota earlier in the season, that game where Ohio State Bell lost it. And we're going to go over those highlights. In that game, he caught four catches for 117 yards and two touchdowns. And really, this is going to give us a chance to get under the hood, see what Chris Olave can do. Mind you, we're going to be doing countless film studies throughout the draft season. This is going to be our first one on Chris Olave. I guarantee you we're going to do a lot more. So you're going to want to stick around on the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and take a look at them highlights. All right, here's the first play we're going to cover. Chris Olave is at the bottom of your screen in the three wide receiver set there. He is the one at the bottom. He's off ball, and he's standing right underneath the B if that helps you out. We're going to go ahead and run this play to see what it looks like. So Stroud gets the snap, and he's flipping out the Olave real quick. They're just trying to get him the ball in space, just trying to get him the touch to see what he can do after the catch, see if he can get those yards, and bam. He's got the he's got the catch here, working his way up field. Let's see this in full speed. So really, really nothing too special. Just catching the ball here out here in the flat, catching the ball. One thing you can know here is the ball's coming in at him, makes the catch, and he's instantly looking to get up field. We got a linebacker coming in at him, and dealing with a little bit of trash. The linebacker's got a good angle here. And eventually he gets crowd up on. Not every play is going to be a Hollywood-esque type of play. But this play is not too bad. He was able to pick up some yards, manipulate some space here, and get the first down. What you ultimately want anyways. I think this is a great play here by Chris Olave. We have plenty more on the docket here to look at anyways. Here's the next play we're going to cover. Chris Olave is at the top of your screen there. He is on ball. Looks like the defense is going to be in a little bit of zone here just by how the cornerbacks are playing off. And let's go ahead and run this real quick. So, bam, off the release. Just coming off, getting to his spot. Look at the linebackers and the DBs kind of come in and then drop back. Alave is working behind them here. Going through the zone. Finds some space, gets the target, bam, gets the catch, and now we're working up field. And now using that speed after the catch to get the score. So, again, they're running them crossers, trying to take advantage of the zone, getting their wide receivers in space. This is something that you, we've seen Ohio State do for the last few years or quite a long time now. Urban Meyer years, Ryan Day years, running them crossers, trying to get holes in space, beat their man, and bam, in this play, in this play, they beat the zone. They get Chris Olave behind it and he's able to get the target, get downfield, and get the yak to get the touchdown. Here's the next play we're going to cover. Chris Olave circled off, so he's easy to see. So I hope you don't miss him. So he's in the slot at the bottom. We're going to lose him a little bit in this play. So we're just really going to concentrate more on the after effects after the catch. But um, also, let's take a look at the release. So here, really just getting to where he needs to go. Nothing fancy. They're, no one's really on top of him. So he's just getting to a spot. Not Doesn't need to sell. Just really needs to come off the line of scrimmage. Get to where he needs to be. Again, we lose him. We don't know where he's at. We don't have all 22. So really, we're just doing the best we can. We're just trying to get a good look at him. So bam. Again, hole in the zone. Catches the ball. Now he's in space. Whoop. Good job slowing down a little bit to read the block. And either way, he was probably going to make this play anyways because he was going to do that dead leg to the left. One's momentum was coming towards the sideline. Chris Olave, whether he was going to get the block or not, he was going to get past him. Guaranteed it. And now he's keeping his speed to work up field. And they just can't keep up with him. And 
His um, ability to pick up yards after the catch, you'll see this here in full time, boop, it allows him to outrun defenders, allows him to get those extra yards and make him dangerous after the catch because the yak is very important. Just being able to catch that ball, manipulate space, read the momentum around you, get downfield, allows you to be able to move the chains even more. And the fact that Olave is good at getting yards after the catch is another reason why we need to be targeting him. Here's the replay from a different angle of the same play that we just covered. I, I screen grabbed this one just so we can take a look. So here, running the crosser again, trying to manipulate the zone, gets the target. Look at all that space. Look how close he was to the sideline. Just knowing or having the awareness of where he's at is big time here because there are sometimes wide receivers unfortunately steps out of bounds. But here, he's able to make his move. Boop! Not much. He sees the block coming, so he doesn't have to go and exaggerate the dead leg or anything. Keeps working upfield, and we know what happens after there. We just saw the play. But Chris Olave is a technician. We didn't get to see everything from him in this game. He only had four balls caught, but we did get to see him work after the catch. We saw how they like to use him in the offense. They like to run a lot of crossers, manipulate the zone. That's part of it, though. That's not all of it. It's just one game. We're going to go over a lot of highlights of Chris Olave and a lot of the other wide receivers in the 2022 NFL Draft, getting you ready for them rookie drafts. I just released my early wide receiver rankings, my top five a few days ago. You may want to check those out in the archives. Hit me a subscribe button. It helps me fuel the channel. It helps me go over these game films and everything else, helping you guys out with your fantasy teams and all that stuff. Again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.